Hey YouTube, it's the angelic one. Today I'm going to do something a little different by unboxing a Monster High doll. I kind of already started as you can see, but I wanted to show you what she kind of looks like in box. Here's the cover seat, it says Monster High. Haunted. Advertising the movie she's from. There's a picture of her. Where's I'm sorry, I'm not used to this. Start her at the Grim Reaper. As you can see, like most dolls, she's got a uh, she's got the stand on the side. And she's got a little diary by it on the back. There's a bit about her. It says River Stick Day 14. Killer style, so sweet it'll make your bones hurt. I love candy swirls, colors swirl together. Freaky flaw. She has a lot of energy, which makes it hard for her to float still, because she's a ghost. Sort of. Um. And she pops out, in and out, which tends to make monsters jump a lot. Especially when she pops out right behind them. Trust me, that would probably scare me. Well, startle me. She doesn't think it's that much of a flaw as others do. Her favorite activity is party planning. If you've seen the movie, you know. She has freaking party game. It's like Pinkie Pie. And it talks about the movie a bit. And we're going to get her out of the box. First, we're going to get her stand out. Which is easy enough. Uh, stick up the rubber bands on this part. And it looks like they're partially attached to her, so I might have to cut them. Which is a waste of good rubber bands, because they can come in pretty handy. These things can come in pretty handy when you're doing things. Like tying up the doll's hair, and if you... Uh, sometimes they come with rubber bands in their hair, and sometimes they snap. So, put that back up. There we go. Now we gotta open up the back part to get to the rubber bands and stuff that's moving her in here. As you can see, this is how you get to her diary. There we go. Now, a lot of you who have, have Monster High Dolls have seen these. I don't know how you guys deal with them, but I, for one, do not cut them off. Because they're a pain in the butt to feel when you're trying to brush the doll's hair and stuff. What I do is take a flare of pliers, rasp the thing, and twist, pulling it out completely. Or just well, and sometimes they break, they stretch and break, but you can still do the whole twist method until it comes out. Trust me, it will come out. With the right amount of patience. And pulling. I call it, sometimes you have to twist and tug. Ta-da! Got it out. Sometimes it's harder to get it out than others. There we go. She comes with a little brush for her hair, which is why I don't like the, the things in her hair, in her head. There's one leg. There's the other. Now to get her arms out. As you can see, she has kind of clear legs with bones in them. That's pretty cool because she's supposed to be skeletal. She's got these cool little clip-ons for her shoes. She just pop her hands out. Careful of her jewelry, of course. Or just... 
and just flip it back on. And we have to deal with rubber bands holding our end, which is easy to handle. Just you don't want to damage the rubber bands as you want to damage the rubber bands as little as possible. I would just try to pull back the cardboard and see what you can do. And I'll get it to pop out. Because like I said, they can be reused. That one, come on. Take our hoods free. Oops. I had to wear the box, but hey, it's going in the recycle. A little tear is not going to hurt it. Hurt its reusability. That's what that's for. More little tabs, we'll let our cloak down. For someone who's dead, she's very lively. <laughs> In the movie. Okay, that's great. Apparently that pops off. And ta-da! Here she is. River Stick. River Stick. Star the Grim Reaper. Doing a haunted high. Last time I heard, and and party planning ghosts. Well, spirits. Technically, she never was alive, as far as I know. So that's it for this video. Next time, I hope to have another monster high doll to unbox. Hopefully, it'll be for the newest movie. New York, New York. Uh, that movie looks pretty interesting because it's a monster version of New York. And I've been to New York. A lot. This is the Angelic Optimist signing off.